You're watching Chef Club. Nice and slow. Very nice. We're gonna do the other end. And we're gonna make sure we coat every single one. Perfect, one more. Excellent. All right. Now we finished that, let's take these out and put them in our ice bath. A little one. Let that set up for a little bit. Give it a turn. All right, we'll take these out, put them back on our rack, and then we'll coat them in our pancake batter. There we go, perfect. All right, so learn how they're ready to fry. Let's bring them over. And the last one. Some golden strawberry, fried strawberry, a mixture of powdered sugar and some freeze dried strawberries. A final dusting, and we'll move on. All right, so what we're going to do here is make a crunch element for our ice cream sandwich using these white chocolate truffles. We're going to run our knife around the edge until it pops right off and we can replace the filling with pop rocks so just just a little bit there we go so let's gently scoop this out scoop this one out as well and use the same spoon to scoop our pop rocks excellent We'll take this one, we'll heat it on the cut side. 
and we'll place it right back on to seal it shut. There we go. Make sure to heat the other end and place it right on top. Boom. There. All right, so let's start putting everything together. We're just gonna make a nice little divot for our chocolate truffles. Perfect. Let's start putting these in. Perfect. In, and we'll take it, put it in our bread, lay it over, and cut it out. All right. Oh, there it is. All right, so now we're gonna put a little caramelization on it. So just a little bit of butter, sprinkle some sugar, perfect, and allow that to melt our bun. And we're just going to toast this for just a little bit. Alright, so let's dip it into our chocolate. Wonderful. And let's dip it into our crunch. Okay. Okay, and so now we'll add our strawberries. Hope you enjoy. Right out here, and now take four of them. And we're just gonna place them right onto our plancha here. And now we've got eggs. We're just gonna pour one into the center of each pancake. I know I've got some cheddar cheese here, some fresh chives to finish it off. And now we've got a little surprise in the middle of each of our pancakes. And now we've got three strips of bacon right in the center, finish laying our bacon down. And now we're gonna grab four more. We've got a nice hole in these as well. And now I've got some home fried potatoes. Those are gonna go right in the center. Nice little handful. And now last but not least, we're gonna hit it with syrup. Moisten it up and give it that signature pancake flavor. And now we're gonna stack these bad boys up. Move them. Massive stack of pancakes with a surprise in the middle. And now we're going to take our mini stack and move on to the next step. And we're just going to lay these right up against our sausage links. And now we're going to take one, fold it around, and make it look like a sausage. We've got a little pecan crusted taco here. Place our last mini taco here in our taco holder. And now we're gonna take two pairs of tongs and gently place these mini tacos right down into our oil here. And now we're gonna take a small ladle and base the top of these. Base these. And now that the sausage is cooked to 155 degrees, we're going to lift it out, drain the oil out, and transfer it to our wire rack here to let it drain a little bit further. We're going to slide this on over. And we've got our mini tacos here. And last but not least, finish it off. We're going to place our jalapeno on our little sausage pancake taco. And there you guys have it, a pancake platter for the ages. So our griddle is nice and hot and we're going to add our pancake mix around these glasses because we need to reserve those spaces for other things. All right, now that we have our batter on there, we're going to make this a savory pancake. So we're going to add some shredded cheddar around. 
as much or as little as you like. Then we have some fresh chives that we're just going to snip off into the dough as well. And then we need to let this cook before we move on. Now that our pancake batter is set, we're gonna just cut this into three separate pieces. And then with the help of a kitchen towel, we're going to carefully remove each of the glasses. And then we have these nice markations here in our batter. So we'll just carefully remove that. Now we're gonna come through with a spatula and we're gonna carefully turn each one of these over, get that last piece off, so that we can cook the other side. Now that we have that there, we have some eggs that we're going to add into the center of these larger holes here in front. So our eggs and pancakes have set nicely, so we're just going to carefully remove these off of the hot griddle, being careful not to break our eggs. And let's move on with our next step. So we have some small hash browns that we have lightly sauteed just so that they'll keep their shape and their form. And then one by one, we're going to take it and sort of create a base with it at the bottom of our bacon that we're gonna roll up into a round just like so. And we'll take a pick and secure that right there. So we'll just roll our last one up pick this onto the side. Then we're going to transfer these over to our baking sheet. And then we've prepared a mixture of cream cheese, cheddar, and fresh herbs. And we're just going to pipe this into the center of each one of our bacon cups. Now that we have these all filled, we're ready for the oven. So we'll bake these at 350 for about 18 to 20 minutes. So our bacon pops are out of the oven and we're gonna add a slice of American cheese just to the top of each one. Now that we have those on there, we're gonna take our kitchen torch and we're going to melt this cheese until it's nice and bubbly. All right, we've got all the cheese nicely melted over the tops of our bacon tops, so we're just ready to move on to our next step. So we're ready to serve our final breakfast board. So we'll add our bacon pops to the pancakes right where we had those shot glasses before. And then we'll add some freshly chopped chives to the top of our breakfast board. You could definitely use a different herb if you prefer just to give it a little freshness and color. And there you have it. Breakfast is served. And it's right next to it, we're gonna do a rectangular pancake. And now we're gonna take some bacon and put it right down into that pancake batter. So the bacon cooks crispy right into the pancake and now we're gonna go one piece of cheese and another piece of cheese to cover the entire pancake. Remove our square molds here. We're gonna place a square egg on each square of cheese here. A lot of squares, a lot of right angles. It's hip to be square. Some pepper on those eggs, so I love black pepper with eggs. Beautiful, look at that, beautiful rectangular pancake. And now our waffle goes right over the top to make a beautiful bacon, egg, and cheese pancake waffle sandwich. Now we're gonna flip it over. Now 
now we're gonna make this pancake waffle sandwich, a French toast pancake waffle sandwich by dipping it in the batter. And we've got one already here. Just gonna slowly lift it out. Let that batter cook. Another waffle sandwich here. We're gonna go right onto the plancha and let that batter cook. Okay, we've got our bacon, egg and cheese, pancake, waffle, French toast sandwich. We're gonna stack two of them. Look at that beauty right there. And now, got to finish with maple syrup all over the top. Get in those crevices. Get maple syrup in all of those crevices. And now we're going to transition to our chicken marinated in buttermilk. We've got cornflakes here that have already been crushed up. We've got chicken that's been marinated in buttermilk for 24 hours and then dredged in flour and then back in the buttermilk to create an adhesive for the cornflakes. We've got our bacon strips here. This is gonna add a nice salty, savory component to our chicken and that's gonna stick to the chicken from the buttermilk. And now we're just gonna flip them over so they're evenly coated with cornflakes and place it in a spot where there's nice dry cornflakes. We're gonna lift it up and we're gonna go into our 350 degree oil and they're 165 degrees on the interior. Our bacon is super crispy. We use raw bacon because if we use par-cooked bacon, it would overcook. We're just gonna gently remove it. It's 165 degrees on the interior. And now we're gonna hit it with fresh lemon. We've got fresh chives that are gonna go right on top and give it a little bit of an onion flavor. And that's exactly what we want for this beautiful bacon fried cornflake chicken. Okay, our waffle, pancake, French toast breakfast sandwiches with our cornflake, bacon, fried chicken, our pecan, maple, compound butter right on top to really make it. Some of my pancake batter. This is a great buttermilk pancake batter that I make. You can use a store-bought mix if you like as well. I'm just going to pour that. Now I have a little mixer. We're gonna use that to mix. Now our pancake batter. We're gonna place our lid back on. We're gonna come over to our pan. And we're going to pour that into our pan. This. Now we're gonna take our Nesquik lid and we're just gonna press that quickly into our pancake. I'm gonna pick that up. And we're gonna press it in this. And I'm gonna come back with a little skewer. We're just gonna trace the outside of our heart. This, we're just gonna get, scoop out the inside. Now I'm going to come back with my buttermilk pancake batter and we're going to come and fill in our heart in the center. A little bit. It's going to take the shape. And while this is cooking, we're going to come over to our second pan and we're going to make a large pancake. And we're gonna turn the pan a little bit around like this. To the cho white chocolate, we're gonna dip it into our peanut butter and grape jelly goober. We get that good in there. Mmm, look at that peanut butter and jelly. We're gonna come place this in the middle of our pancake. And I'm just gonna cover it with a little bit of batter. This is just gonna prevent it from burning when we flip it. I'm just going to make sure our pancake isn't stuck in the pan. Now we're going to go for the flip and flip this one as well. Just a little bit, get that cooked on one side and we're going to slide that into our plate. We're going to do our decoration. I 
And we're just gonna let these slowly tumble in to our breadcrumbs. And then we'll let them roll a little bit so that they get covered. And with our fork, we'll just add some remaining breadcrumbs and bacon to make sure that they get nicely covered. And then gently with my fork, I'm gonna go under and grab a yolk. And our oil is at 350 degrees. I will slowly lower this in and let it fry. All right, we have all of our egg yolks fried and we'll move on to our next step. So we're going to make our egg whites. So I have some spices that we're gonna add into our egg. And this is an optional step. You could certainly just use salt and pepper if you would like. We'll give this a stir. And then I'm gonna pour this into our muffin pan, just about halfway. And then we're off to the oven. So we'll let these bake at 350 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes. So our egg whites are out of the oven and we have our purple potato puree that we're just going to pipe along the top of our cooked egg white. Next we'll take our carrot puree and do the same thing. All right, now that we have all of our puree piped onto our egg whites, we're gonna add our fried egg yolks right here on top. And now we're ready for our next step. So we'll set our sausages here for just a moment. And then we're gonna take our maple syrup and we're gonna add this to our Pyrex dish. Then we'll take our sausage and we're gonna just dip this into our maple syrup to get it nicely coated. All right, now that we have this nicely coated, our griddle's nice and hot and we're just gonna add it and let it cook on all sides. All right, we have our sausage nicely browned. So I'm just gonna remove it over here onto our cutting board quickly. Then we're gonna take our mixed cheddar and mozzarella and we're just gonna add this directly to our hot griddle. All right, now that our cheese is getting nicely melted, we're gonna get our sausage and we're gonna add it right back here on top. And then with our spatula, we're just gonna drape this over our sausage, get it nicely covered and smothered with that melted cheese. So we have our cheese nicely melted around our sausages. So I'm gonna carefully remove it from our hot griddle and then we'll make our pancakes. So we're ready to make our pancakes. So I've made a batter that's slightly thinner than a normal pancake batter. You can find the recipe at chefclub.tv. And we're just gonna continue this zigzag pattern across the hot plancha. We have lightly greased it. And you wanna let the batter sit on the hot griddle, the plancha, until you start to get these little air bubbles. So we'll carefully remove these from our... So we're gonna take our pancake spaghetti and we're gonna just drape it over our cheesy sausages. So we're ready to add our egg cupcakes. Just gonna nestle them right here in the middle of our ring. This one right here in the middle. And then we have some more of our finely chopped maple bacon and some fresh chopped chives. You can find this recipe at chefclub.tv.
chunks. And I'm gonna bring them over here to this hot oil. The oil is at 350 degrees, and we're just gonna slowly drop those in. So you wanna be careful. We're gonna leave those in for about a minute. Apple cutter has been in for about a minute. We're gonna take it out of the oil. You just wanna take off the excess oil, and we're gonna come over here and dip it into our thinned pancake batter. You can hear it sizzle as it goes in. And we're gonna bring it back to the oil. We're gonna place it in. One, two, three. We're gonna place it in again. One, two, three. And here we can start kind of pulling it a little bit and it should release by itself. But it doesn't want to. There we go. Start pulling that. And it should slide right off. Now we'll put, take this out and we'll bring it over here. I have some toasted English muffins I'm gonna place here. And we're gonna to top it with some crunchy peanut butter. We're just gonna pour that right on there. Who doesn't love peanut butter toast? Breakfast favorite. And what goes better with peanut butter than jelly? I'm gonna just spread some jelly right here on top. And we'll place. go our crunchy peanut butter jelly toast we finished this step now on to the next one we're gonna make our eggs I'm gonna take some cheddar cheese I'm just gonna place in the middle of my pan just gonna use a spoon I'm gonna make a hole in the center and I'm just gonna pour my egg inside and we're gonna leave that to cook to slide this right out of our pan Time to make our pancake. We're just gonna pour some pancake batter into the bottom of our pan. That will start cooking immediately. We're gonna add in some bacon and we're gonna add our egg back in the middle. And we're gonna cover it with our pancake batter. And we're gonna let that cook. Now we're going to flip our pancake. Just gonna get my spatula under there. One, two, three. And we're in our pan. Get all the sides in there. And now we're just gonna let that cook. All right, we'll take this with us. Now it's time to serve it up. I'm gonna slide our pancake onto our plate. We'll have it in our peanut butter and jelly toast. Right here on the side. Some butter. And our maple syrup time to cut this open. Pick that up. You can see we have a perfect jammy yolk, our bacon, our melted cheese. This is delicious breakfast. You can find the details of this recipe on chefclub.tv. Then we'll place it right here in our muffin tin and then we'll just repeat that process with our remaining sausages. Now, we have some aluminum foil balls that we're just gonna pop right into the center of each one of these sausage rings. This is gonna help it keep its shape as it cooks. All right, so we're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. So our sausages are fully cooked. I'm gonna place this here for a moment. Now I have our pancake batter in a Ziploc bag and just cut one corner of the bag like so. And then we're going to pipe this in on top of the sausage. Just like so. All right, now that we have those nicely covered with the batter, we're off to the oven for another 12 minutes. And then we have our beautiful sausage donuts that have come out of the oven, all golden and ready to be dunked into our glaze. Get it on all sides here. 
gently remove it from the glaze and we'll just set it over here on a wire rack to let some of that excess drain off. And then we'll just repeat the process with our remaining. All right, we've got the last one nicely glazed here. Set it here with the others. Now we have our fried bacon and we're just going to drizzle some crumbles over the top of each donut. Give it a little extra crunch. Removed the woody stems from our dill and we're just gonna sort of randomly lay this across our parchment paper. We want it to be rather flat if possible. Just creating a nice freshness to this dish as well as add a little bit of color. And we're ready for our eggs. So I've got 12 eggs that I have mixed with about three quarters of a cup of milk. And we're just gonna pour these over our fresh dill. And it's okay if the dill moves just a little bit as you go. It's still gonna create a really pretty pattern when it's all said and done. Now we have our deep fried bacon that we're going to just spread across the eggs as well. Also giving a nice pop of color and some texture to this part of our dish. Just add that last part there. And then we have some shredded cheddar that we're going to finish off. Now I already seasoned my eggs with a little salt and pepper. Feel free to do that to taste. And you probably don't need as much salt since we're adding the bacon to it. Just try to spread this out as evenly as possible. All right, and we're ready to go to the oven. So our oven's now at 400 degrees and we're gonna let this bake for about 15 minutes. So we have our potatoes spiralized and we have our pasta skimmer. And I'm gonna take our potatoes and just make a bit of a nest here inside of our skimmer. Then our oil is nice and hot. We're gonna put our ladle here in the middle to maintain an indentation. And then we're gonna slowly lower this into our hot oil. Don't wanna just plunge it all in there at once because the potatoes still have a bit of moisture in them. All right, potatoes are nicely crisp and golden. Let some of that excess oil drain off. And then we have a bowl with some paper towels and we're just gonna gently remove the potato nest from our basket. So our eggs have baked. I have let them cool slightly, just enough for us to handle. And we're going to roll this into a spiral and then we're going to tightly wrap this up in and to itself. All right, and you see we have this really cool spiral shape right here. And I'm going to come through with my knife. All right, so we have these all nicely cut into beautiful spirals. And now we're just going to carefully place these into our potato nest. Probably can just do three per nest and you can serve the rest of them on the side. So we have all of our elements together for our sausage and pancake donuts. This is a great dish for a brunch or some sort of family event, getting together with friends. Really hope you enjoy making it. Send us your recipes at chefclub.tv.